Hey guys, final day here at PAX East. Uh, I am talking with Nando about Keen, uh, a new game that he he pitched to us uh, very briefly while we were in the area as a... How did, how did this go? It was a puzzle... Sliding puzzle, sliding puzzle game and with turn-by-turn -turn tactical combat and a little bit of adventure to it. Yeah, it definitely, uh, from, from the demo we just got to play, which is really fun, uh, definitely has all those things. I didn't know how that was going to work when, when, uh, when it was first uh, pitched, but really, really like the game. Uh, it's, so you are, there's, there's some pretty good story already, already built into it. You're playing the character, as you can see on the shirt. Uh, I don't know her name offhand. Uh, Kim? Okay. No, sorry. I, there, was, there was a lot of stuff going on on screen, so not a lot of time to figure those out. But uh, you essentially get to slide around uh, these puzzle-based maps, kind of like if you think of sliding as in like any any like Pokemon ice level where you, you, have, you have to continue down to the end of, end of your run. Uh, but you start adding in the ability to slash through enemies uh, who also are trying to kill you. Can you talk about uh, how, that, how all that combat works and how it came together? Sure. Um, the idea was to make a uh, simple mechanic like the sliding puzzles, uh, like 2048 or threes originally, uh, with something that had a depth of content like the old games, like Zelda, the initial one. So we're trying to mix combat with discovery and exploration. Uh, you only need four commands. It's up, down, left, and right. And Kim, which is the character, and she wears roller skates, she goes all the way through with a big blade. So whenever there's an enemy in front of her, she just slashes through. And whenever there's an enemy uh, at a corner or uh, nearby that she can uh, stop adjacent to, she'll stomp the ground and damage everybody on the area. So you only play by fighting them going up, down, left, and right. Yeah, the controls are pretty simple. I mean, we were, uh, the demo I got to play, uh, well, somebody was already on the computer version, but uh, the demo I got to play was on uh, was on the phone, like, it, which is very, very well, well set for that. Are we, not, are we not supposed to talk about phones yet? No, it's all right. <laughs> uh, but it, it seemed very... Uh, very intuitive to have that on, on, on something that literally those are the entire controls for for phone games. What, what all are you trying to bring it to uh, otherwise? So I initially want to make this a PC game so people can already download the free demo. It's on uh, a few websites, Game Jolt, HIO, and Steam. It's uh, around 30 minutes of gameplay, five le four levels, boss fight included. Um, but um, the controls are so simple that yes, it can be uh, can be played anywhere. Ideally, we're, we, we want to do PC first, if everything goes okay and people like it, we go on console. If console is fine, then, as you saw, it can be played on mobile also. But uh, we don't <laughs> I, uh, I really like that not only do you have like the incentive of, of just kind of figuring out a way to get through the level, but you have incentives like challenges of, I want to, you need to complete the level in X number of moves or without taking damage or finding hidden stuff. So it seems like there's a lot more like built into it than, than meets the eye when you first see it. Can you talk a little bit about like the, the extra challenges that are in there? Sure. Um, we say that it's, it's surprisingly delightful because at, at once you look at the game, you go, oh, this is simple. But actually you have uh, every single level, you can, you can replay it to get additional ways to complete it. So every single level has three main objectives. By finishing those, you get these stars or objective points that you can unlock extra content. Also inside the level itself, there will be hidden areas with uh, elements that are like uh, pick up, uh, items that you can pick up and then later combine to unlock additional skills. So she'll have uh, telekinesis, teleportation, and uh, th shooting stars, etc. Okay, yeah, I, I did I did finish the first level and said uh, one of the stars was like collect all the elements, and I was like, I don't even know what that was, so clearly I, clearly I missed something on first place. That's pretty cool, there's a lot of uh, replayability in terms of trying to get better at the game. Um, so how, you said there's only four levels, how, how long is it and then how long are you hoping for it to be when like everything's said and done? So these four levels will be roughly around 30 to 40 minutes depending on player skills and if you want to repeat the game again. Um, the final game we are aiming for six hours so it's uh, 14 levels in total. Uh, and when can, when can people uh, expect to see it out? Uh, I hope November-ish. <laughs> there's, there's been a lot of uh, tentative, tentative plans, plans for games coming out this, this, uh, this whole weekend. So, Nando, thank you so much for joining me, and I uh, really, really love the game. We will have a, uh, there's a uh, website to go check out those free demos. Uh, we will put it in the description. So, thank you, guys. Thank you.